welcome to another DIY Monday. I'm Miss Chloe from Naples Regional Library. Today we are going to be making a really fun art project. We're going to be doing tape resist art. Now this is where you tape in your pattern onto a piece of paper or if you have canvas. You tape in a pattern and then paint over it and when you remove the tape the pattern is left behind. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Hopefully you have if not watercolor paint which I'm going to try today just regular paint at home and you can try this on your own. So the first thing you're gonna need is some paper. I recommend something heavy duty. I'm using watercolor paper because I have watercolor paints. It's probably not the best format for tape resist art because once it gets wet, the tape does tend to peel a little bit of the paper, but we're gonna give it a shot today. So all you need is some painter's tape and you can tape any design that you want into your paper. I've seen people do their names, different graphic designs, pictures, anything you can think of, let your imagination run wild and do any design that you would like. You do just wanna make sure that you have sharp edges. So if your tape doesn't quite meet up or overlaps too much, make sure that you tear it off and then press it down really well. You can also cut your tape in half to make it different sizes. Sometimes you want a smaller piece of tape for an even more intricate design. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your paint and your paintbrush. Whatever kind of paint you have at home is fine. I happen to have watercolor, but if you have maybe acrylic paint or tempera paint, that's fine as well. And you want to paint into the spots that you did not tape. So complementary colors will probably look the best, but you can get as wild as you would like. I'm using different purples and blues. You can even mix colors, anything that you want to fill in those spaces. As you can see, you don't have to be super accurate as you're painting. The tape is there to help guide you. So you can paint over the tape. Make sure you put a tablecloth down because it does get a little bit messy. And just keep filling in all of those spaces until your entire paper is covered. Now once you've let your paint dry, you can begin to peel the tape off of your paper. Um, I use watercolor paper, which it does tend to rip a little bit when it gets wet, so I had to be very careful. I think some it added to the distressed look of the painting that I was going for. But if you have canvas or some heavier paper, or you use maybe a different kind of paint, it probably will come right up. So there you have it, your very own tape resist art. I hope you get creative and try it yourself at home.